Welcome to Mary of the Cross MacKillop Balladura. Our regulations as to gatherings, the rules have been relaxed a little and so the numbers have increased that can participate and I hope that uh, if you want to come to Mass you look at our website and uh, make contact with the phone number that's there to book your opportunity of coming to Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. We celebrate today the week before the Ascension, uh, the, seventh, uh, the sixth week of Easter, and uh, it's the Tuesday Mass. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Continue to remember, especially the sick in our community. I'd like to remember Sabine Paul, who's nearly a hundred years old and has a very severe injury and is in hospital. God our Father, grant that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd of Philippians joined in and showed its hostility to Paul and Silas. So the magistrate had them stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and then thrown into prison, and the jailers were told to keep a close watch on them. So, the fol so following his instructions, they threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stalks. Late that night, Paul and sailors were praying and singing God's praises, while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly there was an earthquake that shook the prison in its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailers woke and saw the doors wide open, they drew, they drew their sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, don't do yourself any harm, we are all here. The jailer called for lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul, and escorted them out, saying, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They told him, Become a believer in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him and all his family. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds and was baptized then and there with all his household. Afterwards, he took them home and gave them a meal, and the whole family celebrated their conversion to believe in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, O Sam, your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. Before the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love which excel all ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. 
Your, your right, right hand has saved me, O Lord. You stretched out your hand and saved me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the word of your hands. Your right hand has saved me, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. send you the spirit of truth says the Lord he will lead you to the whole truth Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. No one, not one of you, has asked, Where are you going? Yet you are sad at heart because I have told you this. Still I must tell you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I do go... I will send him to you. When he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was about sin and about who was in the right, about judgment, about sin proved by their refusal to believe in me, about who was in the right proved by my going to the Father and your seeing me no more about judgment proved by the prince of this world being already condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With this Gospel one way out. In these two weeks now, we look forward to the coming of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray during this time, especially for our young people who this year will be confirmed. Of course, all the sacramental dates at this time have been postponed and cancelled and postponed. But let's remember our young people, the year sixes especially, who are looking forward and hopefully will be prepared by their catechists and their teachers, both the children in the after school group and our own kids at Mary McKillop and of course we can uh, it's the birthday of the church that we celebrate always on Pentecost Sunday uh, we renew, ask God to renew that gift of the, the Holy Spirit with his multiple gifts to us perhaps at this time especially the gift of courage and perhaps with the, as we heard in the first reader, we could ask, Lord, what must we do uh, to become a believer, to continue to be a believer? What must we do to be saved? And Paul answered the jailer, become a believer in the Lord Jesus. We are already believers, but we can deepen our faith with the gift with an increase of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for our world during this time of the pandemic that nations will act wisely, that leaders of countries and their medical staff and their medical leaders will make the right decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray for Pope Francis and our Bishop Timothy. We pray for the leaders of government, especially our own. Lord, hear us. On this anniversary of the birth of John Paul II, we pray that the good things that he initiated may continue to blossom in the life of the church. Lord, hear us. 
Let's pray for the sick, so many, the aged, those in hospitals, those at home. Lord, hear us. Our own personal prayers and intentions we place before our God. Lord, hear us. God our Father, grant our prayers that we make with confidence through Jesus, who is our brother and Lord, and lives for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Let's pray that our Father in heaven will find our prayers and our offering acceptable. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Father, grant we pray that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Father, but at this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising is the life of all who have risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy Father, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Father, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, Don and Barry, all the clergy, our religious, our catechists, parents passing on the faith. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. So many on account of this pandemic. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Mary of the Cross, MacKillop, John Paul II, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Let us pray now in the words that Christ himself taught us, a prayer that expresses our Easter and Christian hope. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray from every evil. Grace ye grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grace to grant her the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's pray for peace in our troubled world as we offer each other the appropriate sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, how happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Father, hear our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us for eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless and keep you. Let his face shine on you and be good to you. May God give you peace. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.